Hello friends, myself Dr. Mayur Saita and in this video we are going to discuss about an important organ, gall bladder, which is the part of an extra hepatic biliary apparatus. So let's discuss in detail about the introduction and the dimensions of the gall bladder. It is uh, situated where? It is situated onto the right lobe of the liver. This is the right of the liver. This is the left lobe of the liver. But the gall bladder is situated actually onto the inferior surface of the right lobe of the liver. Onto the right lobe there are five surfaces: anterior, right surface, superior surface, then onto the posterior surface and the inferior surface. So gallbladder here you can see it is situated onto the inferior surface. Now let's discuss uh, uh, what is a gallbladder fossa. So when we uh, remove the gallbladder we can see onto the inferior surface there is one depression is there. If we focus onto that this depression is actually known as the gallbladder fossa where it is actually situated. Now, gallbladder fossa is situated from where to where. So, let's discuss. So, here you can see this is the well defined border onto the liver, which is known as the inferior border. So, it is situated up to the inferior border and some part also going beyond the inferior border also. So, uh, let's discuss uh, onto the inner side uh, uh, gallbladder fossa is starting from where. So, onto the liver, when we focus onto the right lobe of the liver. Uh, then we see here there are uh, lobes. Let's dissect something. This is a coronary ligament is there. Okay, fine. And here I will dissect further stomach. Let's just remove it, that part. Uh, this is a pancreas also. So onto this is known as the caudate lobe and this is a quadrate. But there are two lobes. In between there is a structure situated which is known as the porta hepatis. So onto the porta hepatis it is a 5 cm long structure. It is having a right border. It is having the left border. So on that porta hepatis which is situated between the quadrate and the quadrate right end of the porta hepatis actually. So from the right end of the porta hepatis gallbladder fossa is uh, situated up to the inferior border of the liver. Now let's discuss the dimensions of the gallbladder. What is the length, width and the capacity of the gallbladder. So when we uh, look at the what is the length of the gallbladder. So when we uh, see it is around 7 to 10 centimeter. So let's draw it out and this is the length of the gallbladder which is around 7 to 10 centimeter. Okay fine. So 7 cm. Now what is the width of the gallbladder? So when we see the maximum width then it is around 3 cm. And the capacity of the gallbladder, how much amount of the bile it can store, then it can store up to 30 to 50 ml of the fluid. That is the actual capacity of the gallbladder, 30 to 50 ml. So that's about the dimension of the gallbladder, 7 to 10 cm, 3 cm and the 30 Now let's discuss about the parts of the gallbladder. How we divide the gallbladder into the three parts. So let's understand here that is known as the inferior border and the part which is situated just in front of the inferior border which is known as the fundus of the gallbladder is the body. Here there is the body of the gallbladder and when we look at the most constricted part which is continuation of the cystic duct which constricted part smaller part which is known as the neck of the gallbladder. So that's how we easily know that the gallbladder is divided into the three parts just in front of the inferior border which is fundus and the main part which is the body and the part which is continuous as the cystic duct constricted is the neck of the gallbladder. Now let's understand about the fundus of the gallbladder, where it is located and what are the relations of the fundus of the gallbladder. So first of all we will understand the location of the fundus onto the anterior abdominal wall. It is the part of the gallbladder which is situated in front of the inferior border of the liver. Okay fine. So let's uh, take some structures to understand the angle. First bring uh, uh, bones and uh, muscles. Let's remove some muscles, external oblique, which we remove, then there is internal oblique, and then there is a transverse abdominis. Now you are you can see there is the location of the fundus over there. So, what is this known as? This is known as the angle. Now, where the angle is uh, situated? So, for understanding the angle, we will uh, draw. Let's draw it out. So, we will uh, draw the angle. 
so this is rectus abdominis rectus abdominis is a lateral border of the rectus abdominis then this is known as the cartilage which is known as the margin of the ninth cartilage ninth costal cartilage and even there there is the location of the fundus of the gall bladder so what is the angle so you must remember the angle between the lateral border of the rectus abdominis and the ribs in the rib this is the lowest which is known as actually the 10th rib this is the 10th no this is the 9th rib and on to the lowest side this is the 10th above 8 and the 7th 8 9 10 actually they combine together and then they combine to the 7th costal cartilage so over for the formation of the angle there is the which part plays the role then there is a 9th costal cartilage okay fine now let's understand the relations of the gallbladder so how where there is a uh, anterior relations and the posterior relations we are going to remember for the gallbladder on to the anterior side it is covered with the peritoneum this is the peritoneum this is the omentum let's remove them and here you can see that whole peritoneum was onto the front side what is the location onto the posterior side so gallbladder posterior related to the transverse colon how the transverse colon then you must uh, see a proper side this is the ascending colon then there is a transverse colon this transverse colon beginning is actually situated under the posterior to the gall bladder so here you can see this is the ascending colon which is situated under the posterior part of the abdominal wall then it turn, take a turn and continues as a transverse colon so this is known as the hepatic flexure and this beginning of the transverse colon is situated under the posterior of the gall bladder Let's discuss about the body of the gall bladder. Body of the gall bladder, it is having the two surfaces, superior surface and the inferior surfaces. And this body is actually situated into one fossa, which is located onto the inferior surface of the liver. So here behind the fundus, there is a body and it is uh, situated into the gall bladder fossa. Let's remove the gall bladder. And here you can see one depression is there, which is known as the gall bladder fossa. Here the gallbladder body is located and there is nothing present between the body and the gallbladder fossa. Here there is a porta hepatis, the right end of the porta hepatis from where the fossa of the gallbladder start and it is situated up to the inferior border of the liver. And yes, that we have, I have told you already that between the gallbladder body and the gallbladder fossa, it is tightly adherent, no peritoneum is present okay fine so let's see from to another angle here you can see the superior surface of the gallbladder which is devoid of peritoneum and it is a tightly adherent to the inferior surface of the liver gallbladder fossa now let's discuss about the inferior surface of the gallbladder onto the inferior surface it is covered with the peritoneum yes peritoneum is there and there are two organs are also situated onto the inferior surface one is the transverse colon and another is the duodenum onto the duodenum also we will remember two parts of the duodenum one which is known as the first part of the duodenum directly continuation of the stomach and the second part which is from the curve it is known as the second part of the duodenum so onto the inferior surface we have remember transverse colon and the first and second part of the duodenum so let's discuss about the body of the gallbladder which is having the superior surface and the inferior surface superior surface devoid of peritoneum inferior surface related to the peritoneum and with transverse colon and the first and the second part of the duodenum so that's all about the body of the gallbladder and uh, thanks for uh, listening